Hello there guys and welcome to another video tutorial with your main symbol. Yeah, in this tutorial I'm going to touch on how to render an animation out of viewing, but also ensuring how to I mean to teach you how to export your shadows for compositing in a compositing application like After Effects. In the previous tutorial, I'm sorry I didn't really touch on how to export your shadows, all right? How to cut shadows in V-Ray. In this tutorial, I'm going to do just that. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so we, we're here in um, Cinema 4D. And let me go ahead and open my previous uh, theme. All right, so in the previous tutorial, I did um, create this simple scene of a, a, a ball bouncing okay so it's uh, it's nothing spectacular just for um, the tutorial purpose this is a simple scene and in this case um, wh whatever it is that you are trying to render whether it's a car or whatsoever obviously you want to be able to transport your shadows in this case um, the shadows have to be uh, on a transparent background right in this case, uh, what you're seeing here at the moment is uh, as a, it's an infinite floor, all right? I'm not using a psych, I'm using an infinite, uh, basically a, a, a disk, all right, and a, and a, a background. And this is something I thought in a previous tutorial about how to, you know, achieve an infinite look in V-Ray. So you might want to check that out. But at this point in time, um, this is what we have. And if I should render it for you to see, those who haven't watched my previous video, uh, this is how it's going to look like, all right? Okay, so we have some nice shadows of, you know, ongoing here. And of course, you might want to, during your compositing, you want to transport this one, um, the shadow, and, you know, in association with the ball and all that into your compositing application, okay? So how do we go about that? Um, this is how to do it. Quickly, um, just right click on whatever you want to catch the shadow. In this case, I'm using a disc. You can decide to use a plane, all right? Or whatever you decide to use to catch your shadows, but I'm using a disc. So I'll right click on the disc, go to um, extensions, then V-Ray tax, all right? And I'll, I'll click on the object properties, all right? So the object properties tag is added. What you have to do is go to the matte properties, click on check the checkbox here, matte surface, all right? It will be turned off by default, turned on. Then select these two, um, shadows and affect alpha, all right? These two have to be checked. Then another important step is to ensure that the alpha contribution, this one here, it should be set to minus one, okay? All right, and that's basically about it. And the next thing you would want to do is, uh, you know, I'm using a dome light um, to light up my scene, of course. Uh, so I'm using an HDRI. Uh, I presume at this point in time, you know, I, you know this workflow, right? Okay, so um, this is what I'm using to light my scene. So the next important step is to go to the V-Ray tab in your settings. Yeah, all right, then go to the overwrite tab under V-Ray, okay, then head on to the environment, okay, all right, at this point, um, forget about the matte texture, this is what you're using for the backdrop, okay, all right, so this is an important part, which is the overwrite background, yeah, so all you have to do is to expand it this way, and what you're going to do is to ensure that this uh, texture is the same texture loaded here. So you can go ahead and look for the HDRI, or you could just, in a short way, um, the shortcut will be to just copy shader, all right? Go to the texture uh, drop down and just do paste shader, all right? So we have the same um, shaders here, all right? Um, and I mean, I mean, that's basically that. So if I go ahead and render it, let me start up the interactive render. You would see that at, the, at this point in time, the whole setting was going to be black. And you might think that, well, where are my shadows? But in essence, what it means that, what it means, so you, as you can see, it's, it's black, right? But what it basically means that this whole thing is, um, at this point in time, uh, transparent. Okay, so your shadows are here, it's just that you can see them. If I had a couple of, um, let me show you. 
So when I go to the alpha channel here of the drop down, you see that your shadows have been cast all right along with your object and all that. All right, so let me go back to the RGB uh, color. All right, so um, with that set and done, you can go ahead and render. But for those who don't know how to actually um, set things up for render out of um, V Ray for Cinema 4D, what you have to do is to go to the settings. And I've already thought this in my previous tutorial, but of course I'm going over again. Um, go to the common tab and make sure these two are set. Okay, V-Ray image output. Make sure that the use V-Ray output system checkbox and they apply VFD compositing or color correction. Then set out your your uh, your destination folder for the files and of course your format. Okay, and I mean that is about it. If you go to the, I, I taught in the previous tutorial that you could set this one up the native um, destination um, file, all right, which is for essentially for the standard FSCAR renders. Um, you can set it up. I decide to, I always recommend I set it up so that in case you want to use the uh, picture viewer to render or whatsoever, which is not necessary, anyways, but I always just turn it on for whatever reason. And um, but just know that this is going to override that, okay? So, I mean, that is that. And of course, you have make sure that you already set your output and all that, and your frames, okay? The number of the range basically you want to. I, I am currently set to about 100 frames, and that's all I have. I need for this um, tutorial, all right, or this animation, okay? So, with that set and done, I think that is about it. If you want to have some passes, you want to have some more control over your render, you can go to the V-Ray um, render element this way, and you can add some passes to it, okay? So um, in the previous tutorial, I did mention of adding the certain passes, and all that's all dependent on what you have in the scene. And in this case, I just wanted to have control over the reflection, so I just decided to add drag and drop you know the reflection um, yeah here it is okay into the, the list here okay so you can go ahead and do that for whatever reason and whatever you want to achieve for example if you wanted if you had a glass material of course you have to go in for refraction and so on and so forth okay so i'm think i'm thinking uh, this is about it so right here and then i can just click on the start production render which is uh, this one i've just dropped it here anyways so it is the same thing. All right, so I've gone ahead of time and I've done the render already. So um, as you can see uh, from even right here in the in the folder, you could see that there uh, it's transparent. So let's just quickly try and put it to test in our compositing application. So I'm going to click here, make sure that PNG sequence is selected, then import it. I'll drag it onto the compositing um, icon here, and you have you have you have it ongoing here. I mean, you are right there and then, so you can see that this whole thing is a transparent background. So you can just go ahead and create something like um, let's create a solid. Um, let's create a white solid. I could just go ahead and also create. Uh, um, Generate a ramp, gradient ramp, you know, and whatever you want to composite. So in the video you saw um, with the sample of the ball bounce and with the stadium behind was just a stadium backdrop, right? And the, sh and the shadows being cast onto the ground. Yeah, so I mean, that's basically it. So this, um, in a nutshell, this is all about it. Uh, how to render um, out of um, V-Ray, render an animation. Um, ensuring that you're catching your shadows out of Cinema 4D. All right, so guys, this is where I'm going to end my tutorial, and I hope you learned a thing or two. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hey, I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Okay. All right, bye-bye.